One of the reasons Hamas attacked when they did, I have no proof of this, as my instinct tells me, is because of the progress we were making towards reasonable immigration. Or is reasonable immigration over there. And we can't leave that work behind. I think he misunderstood it. What he said was that he believed that the normalization uh, process and the agreement that we were trying to reach between Israel and Saudi Arabia for normalization, which we believe is an important stepping stone to getting to a two state solution. Israelis and Palestinians equally deserve to live side by side in safety, dignity, and peace. There's no going back to the status quo as it stood on October the 6th. That means ensuring Hamas can no longer terrorize Israel and use Palestinian civilians as human shields. I'm convinced one of the reasons Hamas attacked when they did, and I have no proof of this, as my instinct tells me, is because of the progress we were making towards regional integration for Israel and regional integration overall. And we can't leave that work behind. Why did the President believe that the recently announced India, Middle East, Europe economic corridor threatens some players in the Middle East? Ah. You know, again. The President has said it was last week twice that yeah. this is an instinct that the IMEC corridor announced with the G20 summit may have precipitated Hamas terrorist attack against Israel. So my question is... I think he misunderstood him. What he said was that he believed that the normalization uh, process and the agreement that we were trying to reach between Israel and Saudi Arabia for normalization, which we believe is an important stepping stone to getting to a two-state solution, uh, was what uh, may have motivated Hamas to, to conduct those attacks. I think you misunderstood what he actually said.